Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share because like and share is gratis guys. Gratis. Today, I'm Muhammad Fazri Atiti Zadurana from RSL to Factory 3D. I'm going to discuss about resource capacity theory. So, uh, we, what is resource capacity theory? The resource capacity theory is proposed potential limit to the result of the limited viability of resource. This theory states that we have limited resources when it comes to attention and that we have to split our attention within these limited resources when we do our multiple, multiple tasks. And that if we do multiple tasks, for example, if the first task is use more of resources and the second task is limited and can only use the remaining amount of resources. So, for example, your main task is driving a car and your friend or BF, BF asks you to volume up the radio so the possibility of attention for the main task is low you are not focusing in the main task because what? because the attention capacity is limited so that is the simple way example we go to the next slide for the next slide I have provided you a pie chart so from the pie chart as you can see the at the uh, at the left pie chart show that when you have a simple primary task you have more resources remaining for uh, the second task for the right the right one the right one the right one the right one uh the pie chart so that when you have a more complex task such as a driving you have less resources available to do a secondary task such as texting or calling right right so that's all for resource capacity theory if you don't understand you can ask at the comment right so we go to the next the procedure for assessing attention demand so for this the dual task procedure determine the attention demand characteristic of simultaneous performance of two different tasks they have a primary task with the task of the interest and for the secondary task is a performance with the basis to make inferences about the attention demand of the primary task so they have two tasks okay. for the next slide is a procedure for assessing attention demand so this uh, for the attentional focus is a more, more to directing attention to a specific characteristic in performance environment or action preparation activity this are focus can be broad or narrow or variation of focus tension of focus can be external or internal for the external switching they have two attention the first one just now I said personal focus this one is a personal switching that can occur to achieve a successful performance but can have advantage and disadvantage depend on the activity so that's all from me and if you guys have a question or not understand or not clear what I'm talking about you can comment at my video I will reply as soon as possible and last but not least I hope you guys stay safe stay home and yeah, this is it.
Bye. Thank you.